Have you ever wondered about oil paint and what exactly it is? Well, come on into the art club and find out. Hi guys, welcome to the art club today. On our last episode, we talked about acrylic painting. If you haven't checked that out yet, you can go ahead and find it on our channel. I just went over some really basic steps on how to do acrylic painting. I'm gonna do the same thing today with oil painting. So I'm gonna get the paint and show you what it's all about. Okay, so these are the tools that I have for oil painting. I have some brushes that are made out of hair. There are specific brushes that you can use for oil paint that work better. They have to be kind of tough because the oil paint is really thick. Oil paint comes in these like really heavy metal kind of tubes. I have a jar that has a cover because in it I keep my mixing oil and you can blend using walnut oil or linseed oil and I think there's a whole bunch of other oils you can use but those are the ones that I like the best. It's really really thick paint and that's why we need to use an oil to make it uh, more smooth and thinner but the more oil that you use to mix it the longer it's gonna take to dry. Another thing that I have when I oil paint is a palette. As you can see, it's pretty full. The oil paint dried hard as a rock on here. So the palette is where we squirt the paint and then dip the brush into. I want to show you an oil painting that I did. And this is a face, of course. They're my favorite thing to do. The oil paint, it doesn't dry really fast like acrylic paint does. So I had a lot of time to blend and blend and blend and blend and blend her face. That is probably the biggest reason why I love oil paint. When I used to try to paint faces using acrylic paint, it used to be really difficult because I had to work so fast. This is a painting that I did using acrylic paint. It really was not at all as easy to blend her skin. So I have this painting here that's done with oil paint that I started a while back. I'm going to use this portion of the canvas today to show you a few oil painting techniques. I'm going to put some paint on my palette, on this messy palette. I won't even be able to find the wet paint, I'm sure. A dab of burnt umber color there. And usually we use something dark like this brown to replace black because black is so, so strong. Canary yellow, I think. No, cadmium. Oil paint has really fancy color names. Titanium white, Mars yellow, and Kinacridone red. A little bit of Viridian hue. <laughs> These are so hard to open, I have to use pliers sometimes. I guess I'll just lay down some white to begin. If you guys are interested in learning more about oil painting, you could always watch Bob Ross. I think he's even on Netflix. Just start by making a little touch on the canvas. Then use the corner of the brush, working back and forth, forth and back. There we are. See them? They live right here in your fan brush. All you got to do is just sort of scare them out. Here he comes. There he comes. We'll just come right down in front of this tree. Bob Ross was amazing when I was a kid. He's... Ooh! I got some green. See how well it blends together. Now I'm gonna make this side of the green even darker. I'm gonna add some of that brown color that I talked about. Now, as I talked about in the lesson for um, acrylic paint, make sure that you never run your brush backwards like this. Uh, don't ever do that. You're gonna ruin the brush and make the, the bristles stick out every which way. 
the best thing to do is to brush in the same direction that the bristles are going, so. It's kind of like sweeping a floor. You never push the broom unless it's a push broom. You sweep it. So let's get some brighter colors here. I got some of that cadmium yellow mixed with some white. But blending is really, really easy with oil paints. See what I mean? I'm not even trying really to blend and it's blending. That's why I love oil paints. I don't even know what I'm painting. I'm just having fun. Mixing them around. And add white for the lighter areas and add darker colors for the darker areas. See? One thing I forgot to mention about oil paint is that you can make paintings that actually stick up off the canvas if you want to. It just takes a really, really, really long time to dry, but it is possible. So that's another reason oil paint is cool, because you can make textures with it. Okay, so that was it for our episode on oil painting. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Send me off an email, send me your artwork, and I just would love to hear from you all. Thanks guys, have a great week. So oil painting is fun and really awesome, but it is quite messy. Cleaning brushes can be kind of a pain. A lot of people use chemicals that smell really, really bad to clean their brushes when they oil paint. I actually don't. I use like dish soap or hand soap and I just, I rub the brush in the palm of my hand like that until it's really, really cleaned off. And then I use water to wash the soap off and it seems to do a pretty good job. I don't like smelling all those chemicals even though it's maybe not proper the way that I do it. So always make sure that you clean up your work area when you do something like painting and make sure that you're wearing something that is protecting your clothes because oil paint won't come off of your clothes. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.